beautiful sound of Joshua Baraka at 13 minutes to the top of the hour. The song is Belinda. It's on Nation FM 96.3. It's a Nation FM drive. I kid you not, this guy is the in thing right now. He's the jazz. Everybody's singing to his songs. He's doing a fantastic job. And guess what? He's here in the flesh. Ladies and gentlemen, mostly ladies, Joshua Baraka. Yo, 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 yo. How are you doing, my G? I'm okay, man. I'm You're chilling. fantastic? Yeah, man. I'm chilling, I'm chilling. You're chilling. Yeah. Like, you're looking at your song, do this rounds. You've got yeah. over 100,000 videos on TikTok. Yeah, that's crazy. It's 140 something right now. Yeah. Do you constantly check the performance of your song on TikTok? Um, initially, yeah, I uh -huh. used to like want to watch all the TikToks. Yeah. And then they got to like a certain number and I was just like, man. I mean, I can't, you yeah. you spend days and yeah. weeks, you know, just, just going through some of these videos. Yeah, yeah. So. Have you been able to master the dance moves? Yeah, yeah. Um, I made the the initial challenge. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I know it. I know yes. it. I just, yeah. I'm tired of yeah. dancing it now, man. <laughs> All I right. it every day. Oh my God. But I love yeah. it. I love it. I love it. Let's begin with how it makes you feel to see mm. this reception. I mean, I say all the time, if anybody yeah. takes their time mm. to dance, edit a video, mm. post it up on TikTok, yeah. they definitely have, have got something with a song. They mm. love it. Mm. How does it make you feel to see over 100,000 people, mm. users on TikTok, mm. dance, jam, and enjoy your, uh, your your song? Man, it's amazing. It's amazing. It's a, it's a blessing I don't take for granted. Mm -hmm. And man, it's just overwhelming and yes. very humbling to to see that man even yeah. your tone is very humbling you're like i don't even have words to uh, say you guys have just made me so very happy i might cry <laughs> <laughs> i'm sure you've cried multiple times just looking at it the performance is just impeccable yeah yeah it's one of the biggest tunes in east africa right now yeah man the pressure is it coming um, do you feel like every everybody's now looking at me <laughs> now moving forward i have yeah. to have hit songs after uh, hit or i'll be forgotten uh not really not really mm -hmm. um i have a lot of music coming up that yes I'm, that i'm sure is nice music mm -hmm. so um yeah let's see where it goes I'm, I'm not really on pressure the in, the pressure was there initially yes and then it left after some time it got tired right yeah, but um, i'm not on any kind of pressure okay excellent yeah. so your name is joshua baraka the second mm. name means blessing, blessing yeah. in kenya yeah people would assume oh definitely he, he's, he's kenyan, kenyan. <laughs> he probably lives in don home <laughs> he studied in a school in kenya but you're not yeah. any of that yeah you're from Lu uganda i'm from uganda please say hi to your friends in luganda <laughs> those who are listening right now how do you say it how do you say <laughs> it <laughs> hey yeah. okay <laughs> So something very, very important, and you've mentioned it multiple times, is mm. that the reception in Kenya has been very overwhelming. Yeah, man. And people are listening to your song. We're going to play it in just a bit. That's Nana, one of my favorite songs here on Nation FM. And you've seen Thank we, you. we, we tweet you all the time. Yeah, all the time. Whenever man. we play it's crazy. it. crazy, yeah. How does it make you feel in general? Yeah, it's, uh, it's very overwhelming. You know, your music being played in a country you're, you're not even in. Yes. And you get that kind of love. Uh -huh. It's very rare and it's something that will always be on my heart. Yes. Because Kenya was one of the first countries to accept me mm -hmm. and just listen to me and give me an ear mm. and do the dances, do all these things. And man, thank you. It is big. Thank you, Kenya. It is really, really, really big. Yeah. Your dad is from Kenya. My dad is my dad is Kenyan, but mm -hmm. he's also Uganda. Living in Uganda. Yeah. Is this the first time, or how many times have you been to Kenya? Um, this is my second time. Mm -hmm. This is my second time. I first came here last year. Okay. Midway last year. Yes. And yeah, now this is my second time. Give me two things about Kenya that you really, really love. That's not in Uganda. Just um, two things. Please say the women, because <laughs> um, everybody says that. <laughs> I'm not going to say that. Okay. Um, I feel like we surpass you in that aspect. Oh wow, <laughs> that's a war. <laughs> uh -huh, uh -huh. Yeah, but um, kind of controversial. But your roads. Yeah. 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 Okay. I love your roads. I love how Nairobi feels. Mm -hmm. It's a very thought out space. Yes. Um, and then um, the people. Mm -hmm. The people are very nice. Yeah. yeah. Everyone is just nice to everyone. Yeah. Okay. So I love that. And of course, you've felt that firsthand because of yeah. the music. People yeah. just loving it. Yeah. Have you had a chance to interact with your fans in yeah. the city? I have. I have. I've met a few mm -hmm. when I went out. Um. Yeah. 
and it, it was nice man was the love nice. is palpable yeah you yeah. can feel it you can taste it yeah <laughs> like you you literally this is the second time you're coming to the country people know your song by yeah. word yeah others are dancing to it others just yeah. know you yeah and sometimes you can you, you're short like am i that big <laughs> this is unbelievable <laughs> yeah, man. man what have i done <laughs> it's really yeah. good so let's talk about your hit song which is nana mm. uh and i've had you say that you did not anticipate it will be mm. this big yeah what is this process? What were you thinking writing mm. it? What were mm. you feeling writing it? Yeah. Um, so I made it um, sometime last year. Mm-hmm. That's when I started it. I mm-hmm. think it was August. Yes. Um, I just wrote I just wrote the first verse and the chorus. Mm-hmm. And then after some time, mm-hmm. um, January reached. Yes. And I needed to put out some music. So I was like, man, I should finish the song and put it out. And yeah, let's see how it goes. Did then you show it to the side? You put it aside for a bit? Yeah. Okay. It was just on the side. I have a lot <laughs> of demos. Yeah, okay. So I'm like, man, I should finish this song and we we put it out. Let we see what what's up. Yeah. So I I knew it was a good song, but okay. I didn't know it would do what it has done. Because mm-hmm. it has done so many things. It has opened so many doors right. that I didn't think yeah. that I didn't think would happen or something I couldn't anticipate. Mm. I just knew it was a good song. Right. Yeah. So. So for yeah. you. You're, you're just putting out songs like you used to. Yeah. When did you professionally start music? Um, Two years ago. Two, two years, years ago. ago. 2021 is when I put out my first body of work. Okay. Like professionally. Mm-hmm. And 2022, I put out another body of work. Yes. Now, 2023, I'm working on a new project, a new album. Okay. Yes. But in all honesty, there's no song that has been as big as... Nana. Nana. Yes. True, did you true. in your two years of putting out songs, writing yeah. songs, did you ever feel like this is taking long? <laughs> I need to be popular. Uh, I need to no. be played in Nigeria. I need to be <laughs> on radios in the UK. Yeah. I need to be in Kenya and, and stuff like that. Did you ever feel mm. like it was taking long? Not really. Mm. Um of course it was kind of difficult, but mm-hmm. um also I I've learned to to trust the process. Yeah. Yeah, I knew the music is good. It's mm-hmm. not bad. So yes. all that stuff will come with time. Okay. With time it will come. I don't have to rush it when it comes, it will come. That's right. Yeah, just had to go through day by day. Yes. Not overthink it and just do what I have to do. All right. Yeah. That's interesting. I love it. I mean, he's truly a blessing to the entire region, East Africa, and we're definitely yeah. going to be playing more of his jams in just a bit. We cross over to the next hour, have this conversation with him. We're going to talk about the collabs he has uh, underway and who in Kenya would he want to work with. But for now, let's pay some bills. We're back with Joshua Baraka in just a bit. The hashtag is No Blues Monday. We're killing the blues, man, in the best way we can. <laughs> 